Hello, I'm Carrie Cottle, and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the stunningly illustrated and beautiful book, Nina, jazz legend and civil rights activist, Nina Simone, written by Alice Brere Hockett and illustrated by Bruno Lyons. Enjoy. Nina. Jazz legend and civil rights activist, Nina Simone, by Alice Brere Hockett, illustrated by Bruno Lyons. Published by Charles Bridge. Go to sleep, my precious one. Day is done and night is near. When you wake, you'll see the sun, wish you for a star to steer. To steer. Lullaby sung by singer, songwriter, and civil rights activist, Nina Simone, to her daughter. Dream, my baby, dream, until you spread your wings. Hey, my child, my sweet child, you are having a hard time falling asleep tonight. So listen to my story. It starts like stories often do, with a baby wrapped in a white sheet and her mother smiling at her. This little baby was black. This little baby was me. I don't remember that, of course. My first childhood memory came a little bit later. I must have been about three years old. I thought the piano looked like there were 52 white teeth and 36 black teeth trapped in the keyboard. The black keys were smaller. The white keys are whole notes and the black keys are flats or half notes, my teacher explained. I asked why, because that's just the way it is. Yes, that's the way it was. White was whole, black was half. It was that way everywhere and for everyone. I could have held it against people or worse, I could have believed I was worth less than other people. Black people were nothing but half notes on a huge ivory keyboard. But no, I did not agree with this. The notes had to mingle and dance together in the air so these lies would disappear. Music has no color. In music, there is only one rhythm, only one heart, ba-boom, ba-boom. One heartbeat per second, the same rhythm for everyone. Standing on the bus with my eyes closed, I reminded myself of this. The years went by. I played Mozart, Liszt, Beethoven, Chopin, Debussy. I played all the important men in powdered wigs from past centuries. I was talented. People told me so. Mom sewed. Oh, rewind. <laughs> When I was 12 years old, our church asked me to give a performance. Mom sewed a beautiful white dress with pleats and pretty ribbons. God knows she was proud. Her daughter was giving a concert. My mom, my sweet mom, she sat in the front row with her radiant smile. Then white people arrived. She had to get up. 
I squeezed my eyes tight so I could listen to my dreams dance in the air. But there was nothing, nothing except silence and injustice. So I refused. Right there in front of black and white people, I didn't care. The only noise was my heart beating and it was beating for my mother. It was her right to be in the front row. So mom sat back down. She wasn't smiling anymore and my fingers were trembling with anger. But the concert was beautiful. Hey child, my sweet child, later, much later, in fact, you were already born, a man arrived on our TV screens, on our radios, in our newspapers, and he said, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. He believed in it, and people followed him. Decent housing now, jobs for all now, equal rights now, voting rights now, a decent pay now. Young, gifted, and black. Martin's dream was my symphony. Black and white people could come together in the big dance of life. Hey child, my sweet child, Sometimes it seems as if that dream came true, but the dream is fragile. You have to take care of it. Dream, my baby, dream until you spread your wings. hope you enjoyed Nina. I love this book. I love the music of Nina Simone and her powerful words and actions. Look, our country is far from a place of justice and equality and fairness when it comes to race. But what Nina Simone helps us understand is that we not only need to have hope and connection and togetherness, but that we need to take a stand, take a stand to make a difference, hold people accountable for their actions, and make sure that every person is valued. Black lives matter. And the song Young, Gifted, and Black is a beautiful anthem, it should be played every single day. Thank you, Nina Simone.